Well, if we're going to get started on upgrading the blocks to from marshmallow to nugget, we've got to figure out where we're going to start at. Of course, last time we looked at uh, you know different methods, different ways. Um, whether you wanted to just try uh, kind of brute force, just uh, install it and you know start building it and tackle the errors as they show up and, and make changes as you go along or whether you wanted to compare to something else that's already been done and see if you can make similar changes and then try to build it and uh, and then you know even just essentially like building a device tree from scratch based on another device that's similar that's been upgraded already those are the three principal methods that you can use for jumping from you know one version of Android to another as this is a little bit more of an advanced thing to do, uh, I'm not going to cover too many of the basics as we go along. If you do have any questions about some basic things that we're doing, uh, be sure to take a look at the other instructional videos that I have and see if maybe you can uh, get that information there. If you do have some questions, please uh, feel free to uh, you know, let me know and, and we can uh, maybe work through that. Uh, it's better to ask questions on the XDA thread than on the uh, YouTube videos only because the amount of information that we need to put into uh, answering a question uh, typically is just better responded to on uh, XDA uh, a lot of the file formatting in that way that you can transfer files or that you can you know delineate code it just makes a little more sense to do it on the XDA thread so just a comment there but what we need to do first is we need to add to our uh, repo manifest or our room service XML you could make a new uh, local manifest and put the information in there but the key part is that we need to download the stuff that we've got set up for uh, building um, building our uh, blocks to device so if we take a look let's open up a browser here what is it that we want to copy And let's see if we can get lab Alaska Linux user. There we go. We'll head over there. Bring that up. And we're going to say that we want our kernel. Actually, maybe this would be a faster way to do it. So we got our kernel, our vendor, and our device tree. So those are the three things that we're going to need for sure. So let's go back to our room service uh, local manifest here. And uh, notice in here, this style, it says the name, the path, the remote. Uh, but it doesn't say the revision. In some of them, it'll say revision like this. All right, with revision and we're going to use that style but either one works just fine the great thing about revision is if you're specifying a revision that's different then um, then the rest of your project so in this case uh, I did make a revision of each one of these a new branch called nugget and essentially it's the same as the other branch right now it's just that I'm getting prepared to do the nugget work for it. So in all three cases the revision is going to be nugget. But we'll double check that just to be sure that I didn't misspell it or something like that. Um, it's going to be on uh, github 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 And we're going to grab this part here. Check to make sure Nugget is with a capital N. Yes, it is. Copy that. Paste it in here. 
capital N nugget, good. And we'll paste that in here. So now we need to fix our path for each one. Which is going to be device, blue, oops, not a question mark, blue, uh, life, one, x, two. Actually, we'll just copy that, paste that, paste that. So this is going to be vendor blue. And this one is going to be kernel. All right. So let's go ahead and we'll save that. We'll repo sync, get our uh, material ready, and then we can start uh, working on making our changes and getting ready for the build. So we're going to jump over to our lineage, and we're going to repo sync. Now, if you're repo syncing, if you made some changes, uh, particularly uh, made some changes to the manifest, sometimes it will uh, give you some errors and you can do a uh, force sync to overwrite any uh, problems that you came up with. So we'll let that download and then we'll come back to it.